new cyberbike is leaving the workshop right now. I found it pretty interesting how I was fitting all these 3D printed panels and I thought this is interesting topic to share so let's take a look. To glue all these panels we need a good glue. I am recommending a PU based glue. Here in Europe I really do like Dan Braven Mammoth glue. That's an all-purpose glue but it needs to harden overnight. I'm having a black version because we have black frame, black panels so I can be a little bit rougher where it's not visible. First of all we're gonna glue this uh, piece at the very bottom. You can see there is a gap for the pipe for the brake and I'm purposely keeping these panels a little bit longer. I'll just shape it a little bit. Then it just needs to be held in place. There's many ways how to do this. So I'm just checking a couple times from all angles. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with I'm happy with the way it looks. Something rounded for this purpose will be actually much better. So this Magnum leftover is ideal for the job because it's gonna be creating nice and rounded glue joint. Now I'm gonna go all the way around and make sure all, like the entire gap is filled so it's waterproof. Now when I'm happy with the amount of glue that is on it, I'm using just a soap detergent mixed with water. Uh, to spray over it and then I can wipe it with my fingers to make a little bit more acceptable joints because I can smooth it out this way. I can take those clamps off now and it's nice and hard. It's a pretty neat job I would say. Now I'm ready to start working on this door and first thing I need to do sanding a little bit off these welds. I am prepping the door so when it sits on the magnets we have nice and tight joints. Of course we're not gluing the entire door. We're gonna slide in these hinges and glue those two hinges. But before doing that this needs to be nice and tight fit. Nice and quiet. And now it's just as simple as sliding them in. And I tested on my bike for over a month now and they didn't get loose and they didn't move a single bit. So this is as easy as it can be. This is the latest where this text is printed with different color and, and uh, it's easier to see. I love the variety of these panels that any panel can be any color and I love both of these versions. This blue and this graphite black text shirt looks pretty sick to me. <laughs> Let's do some magnets. I'm using this Loctite uh, 406 glue that holds plastic and metal together. This one cures immediately so I always appreciate that when I can keep working with those panels. Magnets should fit in just nicely. Part of the kit are these mounts that are supposed to be in a frame. We're gonna glue magnets to those as well. You need to keep in mind if you're gluing magnets that you actually want them to go together and not against each other. So I'm always triple checking and I'm waiting for a little bit to cure the glue on those panels so I'm not pulling them out from the socket. What I'm doing next, I'm fitting these uh, magnet holders that go to the other side of the door that will be part of the frame from now on. So I'm clipping those magnets on and I'm making sure everything sits nicely. I'm going to be gluing these hinges first. I want to test out that everything moves nice and easy. And when I hold one in, I can see that it nicely wraps around. Aiming for this edge to be roughly parallel with this edge of the frame. The thin layer of mammoth glue does the job. With this kind of a thick glue, I'm always spreading it a little bit to decrease the gap between the materials. Mm -hmm. 
I'm making a bit of a blob here and you will see right away why. Here where the weld is and on this side too. This door, this door is cured, all the glue seems to be pretty neat and it works pretty well. It's because these uh, magnets are well positioned going straight against each other. Let's do the other side. And again, just like on the other side, we need to make sure it fits. So I'm usually looking at those welds and maybe at this edge. Now I just need to hold it on place. This is my favorite trick for these panels. If you have spare magnets, you just lock that panel in place <laughs> by using magnets. This is the last panel on a headset and it's pretty straightforward. I'll probably hold it down with magnets and glue it from underneath and then it's done. These side panels go together like this through this joint and are pretty easy to, to fit uh, by using the same principles like we just did now. I just wanna show you how do you put them in because the way they are designed is holding this part this way. That means it's gonna lo lock in a place and there is like a motion like going down and in. So that's how you easily lock it in any time. And if you want to take it out, I just push one hand that way. I'm going to lift it up a little bit and I can easily pull it out anytime without breaking any of these. I think it looks great. I purposely turned the red light on for the purpose of this video because now that it has any function, I'm only excited to show off because I just wired the electricity. <laughs> this panel is pretty straightforward. It just goes in like this and the way it's supposed to be clicked in is like I'm taking advantage of this material being banded a little bit this way. So I'm going to purposely loosen this up a little bit and click it in like this. That's a really nice fit. And now additionally, I'm going to slide this part in and once I push it in, it's going to stay in forever. I hope you found it interesting. I think this is pretty, pretty particular thing to see. And there is more cool videos on this channel like this one. If you want to help with this development, you can A, help us with the subtitles and a translation for this channel, or B, consider uh, our... Consider... Consider becoming a patron. Or B, consider become a patron. So thanks for watching 
and see you next time in another video.